In this video, we play the deadliest fridge in War Thunder, but instead of high explosives, we use its secret weapon, anti-concrete rounds versus tanks. Look at those two guys trying to get up here. Little Sark, look. Come on, you can do it, little guy. You can do it. It's like, I'm too far. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, uh, there, it, there it goes, dude. That's it. That's the HE from the the filler. Still more there. What is this guy? Come on, reload. It's looking good, right? Oh yeah, that's it. That's a hit and a half. And then the other guy's dead down there too. It's a Japan. It was a Japan. Oh, I double killed. I, I, I'm speechless. Where did it? Oh, I killed that guy there. That guy is very dead. Is there anyone on C already? It could be a Puma. It was a Puma. <laughs> is this a Chaffee coming down here? Is there something? Hello, tiny boy. <laughs> Yo, my turret ring. That works. The Shaminator 5000. Okay, we got him. I'm almost positive I heard somebody here. Ah, oh, we got each other. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. No. My shell disappeared. No one expects the fridge of Stalin. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing out the KV-2. I haven't ever done a video on this guy and the reason for that is I didn't really like it. At the time it was 4.3 and with the lengthy reload, this is 33 seconds on an ace crew by the way, the best crew that you can possibly get, uh, the reload's somewhere around about 45 seconds, uh, maybe even longer, I'm not even sure, it's a long time. But recently I've discovered that this tank has a secret and it's to do with this anti-concrete shell. First of all, we're just going to have a look at the HE shell, which has 48 millimeters of penetration maximum. That's with high explosive overpressure. You can see the little diagram here that shows you exactly what happens. It finds a way to go through either the roof or the top of the hull of a tank and destroy it. But when you look at the anti-concrete round, you've got 95 millimeters of penetration there, of course. It still has 5.1 kilograms of TNT inside, but if you look at this 60 degree angle pen, for some reason it's still 41 millimeters all the way down. And the reason for that is that 5 kilograms of TNT gives this a HE overpressure of 41 millimeters. So what I'm saying here is you sacrifice only 7 millimeters less, but you've also got the opportunity to blow your load inside the enemy tank. Giggity, just like in your mum. So even if the round doesn't penetrate, it still has a chance to HE overpressure the crew which is very sweet. It's kind of like a two-in-one combination. Side shots on vehicles, even things like Shermans, etc. They'll go through and blow up inside rather than just bounce harmlessly off the side of them, which is a really neat concept to me. There's just something about hitting a tank with an anti-concrete round that sounds so cool, even though it's virtual. But there's one thing that I just don't really like about the KV-2 that can't be fixed. It's the frontal armor. 75 millimeters. Most things can penetrate you quite easily. This is the easiest shot to take on this guy. And it's the same the whole way around the turret ring here. But your sides are still pretty good. 75 millimeters. You angle the hull. No one can touch you. There's not even an MG port on this thing for a weak spot, which is super nice. The only problem is your turret is literally the size of Russia. And it's very easy to hit things with heat, etc. that will do damage. If you get your barrel shot out or your breach, you have to repair said wound before you can load a new round into the breach again, which makes this thing incredibly frustrating to play sometimes. But not today. I had a lot of fun in it. I hope you guys enjoy this footage. I'm sure you will. Ah, that reminds me of the old uh, Twitch stream days where I had that in my tanks. Cog Snifter. <laughs> it's so good, dude. <laughs> That's made my day. That's definitely not going in the first 30 seconds of this video, I can tell you that for free. So, uh, shout out to that guy. What was what was his name? Erenzo. That's a good, 
I love that that's the first thing I saw joining this match. Thank you for the laugh. I appreciate it. Right, we're gonna... We're just gonna babysit this lane. We are KB1 and E pushing up. So, uh... Yeah. We're in... We're in no real danger of getting shot first, really. That's our teammate. Just let everyone know someone's watching here, right? What an absolute genius. That didn't even overpressure him either. Okay. The anti-concrete round has failed us once. We'll back out of this. A digger max. The digger max is our mortal enemy. Hey, our Panzer IV. Shoot at me. Good time in there, teammate. Oh, he's still there, I can't really see him. That man is most certainly gone. Oh, right in the ammo! Hopefully these two guys respawn so the fire coming out of their tank isn't as intense. Oh, old dicker mags. <laughs> he tried it, didn't he? Oh, I hit the husk of the M4. Well, another long ass reload. And there he goes. Oh, I think I did hit him somehow if we got an assist on him. T-34s make no sound anymore, you hear that? Just the tracks you can hear. The track flapping. An aggressive push is not our forte, but here we go. It's KV-1, the KV-1 is fighting somebody. Right, we're going out this way. There's a, a Shafi in here. There he is, look. I think this KV-1's gonna kill him though, is he? Something just shot him. Okay, he's looking for him. I need to help this KV-1E, he's having a hard time. I might die to the Chaffee because of this, but... I'm just gonna hope that KV-1 has got things under control. It is a... short show. Can't lower from plate him, unfortunately. vd 7 ms shooting at him from back there. I might lose my turret ring here, which would really suck. You're gonna wait till I look at you, aren't you? Yeah, that's that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. He's uh, his reload is suffering right now because he's missing crew, and he's getting popped from the side. I will still be able to kill this guy with overpressure. Just gotta get a good shot. Next to his turret neck. That's the one. That's the one. The one round does all, dude. The one round does all. Another Chaffee. Is it that same Chaffee that was over here? Oh, I see him now. He may try and track me, I'm not sure. We will definitely be scouted though. <laughs> Do you see what I did there? Light my crosshair up and then just double check in the third person camera. Right, how are we looking on it baddies? Plenty of them. Just a, a reload again. Once again, dude. Oh. We ought to be in hiding for another 30 seconds, probably. Someone's shooting from spawn. Where did that Panzer IV go? Well, there's a guy behind me. On the coast. Where are you, Panzer IV? Oh, he's here. Gotta watch our anti-concrete round doesn't get stuck on concrete, right? Nice and low down, look. There we go. Absolutely bonked. I've got a teammate out here now. Oh, 
<laughs> I just saw that little uh, Swedish thing before he got disintegrated. Oh, someone's pushing really quickly over here. It looks like an M5. Which can actually pen us from the front pretty easily. I really got nowhere to hide right now. We're at a fairly decent spot though. It's a Sherman. And dead. Again over pressured. The anti-concrete round's proven itself dude. It's proven itself. It's a wee ace dude. We'll take that. We take those. We're almost reloaded. The Achilles can pretty much pen as anywhere he likes so... I gotta be... Oh there's an Avenger as well which is... Even more terrifying. Good. Another cheeky overpressure kill. The Achilles is dead. So is the Avenger. I love how this, uh, if you don't pen, it still kills, like, general rule of thumb, right? If only I had the KB2 with the machine gun. Oh, I see an anti air shooting from over here. I really want to get this anti air before the game's over. I'd love to. Oh, there's a few there. But that one out there specifically making all that racket. I don't know where he is. There's another one gone. Where's he hiding at? Uh, I don't think we're going to get him. There's a Sherman in that spawn. Come on! Yes! <laughs> Right, here we go. <laughs> Hello, Mr. KB2. The last time I played this was the Sultan Zultan. I had, I had some serious uh, creative block uh, issues and editing issues when uh, I was making a video with him, which is really unfortunate. The video exists still. It just has never been uploaded. He's never happy with it. No one else is coming with me. They're just rushing the A cap. I don't know why anyone rushes a cap in War Thunder. That's, if you want to die, that's that's the practice you want to get into, right? So we need to make sure wherever we go, we can still back up. There must be somebody over here. There's absolutely not a chance that we just get away with driving down here. Yep, there we, that's the entire crew overpressured. And now we've got this extremely long reload to go through. Where is that? Oh, I was going to say the BT-7M's pushed up quite a bit. So, the we still have a lot of explosive mass, right? So, even that KV-1B, we can overpressure kill. Which is hilarious to me. With a, with a technically an APHE round, just a really big one. No, nobody's on this flank on the right side. Our light tanks don't be light tanking. Oh, look what it is. It's a flag bus. Another Panzer IV. I'm going to just tuck myself back here. The guy has no gun depression. is our only advantage. He's getting arted as well. He knows it too, right? You know that? So, if I can get this shell to detonate on anything... Solid. He's dead. <laughs> Goodbye. Time to reverse. I do really need to watch an eye out on this right side though. It's good to be have a Sherman here but... If I push up too far they'll just keep coming back from spawn. And uh, that's not good for my health. Not with this reload. Although with a Sherman here I might be okay. Yeah I think our team is disintegrated on the cap. Especially if there's a KV-1B down there. I keep forgetting just how ridiculously tall we are. There goes another. It's just, uh... <laughs> it's just me now. Still no flank. Right. So far. And just once again chilling out. How are we doing? The enemy team is still on it. 
Hey, hello, sir. It's lovely to see you. I can't really get a shot on him. Unless he wants to push me. Oh, here we go. That guy made a mistake. Is the other one going to push me while I'm reloading? No. I can't believe he didn't see my jet. Look at this. How can you miss it? There's a stug down there. Hey, hey, we got a stug with us. Is that a Hetzer? That may be a Hetzer. He's trying to get up onto the... The hillside, I think. Can he... Oh, yeah, he can get up there. Ah, oh, poor dude. He tried so hard, dude. He tried so hard. Our team's getting melted is the only issue. This stug is also attacking someone. Or getting attacked, one of the two. Don't die. It's the KV-1B It's up there. I really need to do something about that guy. Yeah, a Stuart going up there. Oh, it's a Panzer 4G. I wonder if they like... Uh oh, problems. Angle, angle, angle. Send it, dude, send it. It wasn't a me. No, okay, I've chosen the wrong target. What is firing at me, though? It depends. If it's 50 mil, we might be in for a chance of surviving, but I don't know what hit me. That's a stick, right? I'm kinda angled. Kinda. Am I getting bombed? No, it's not for me. I see. What is that? A wobble wind. I critically hit him. Okay, that may be heat. If so, it's a stew. My whole team is dead. And I think this guy might be pushing me on my on my left side now. By the sounds of it. No way, Warble Wind. Nobody likes you. He's aware. Crap. Stig fired. Good stuff. Right, that Warble's dead. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it, dude. Oh, that's my track. I don't really need the track, but I would like to have it. Don't stare straight at him, Buzz. He, he doesn't know, right? He's backing off. <laughs> what are we on? Seven kills and an assist. Uh, 12 seconds. Oh, our team's actually doing something. There's still a Panzer IV there. I can hear him tippy tapping. What are you up to? Oh no. There's so many. That non penned and still killed him. Uh, we, are, we are in trouble. Yeah, I, I could hear it coming. I could, I could hear it coming, dude. Right, there, there's the, the KV 1B is dead. Let's go take another one and see if we can just rush on to A as quickly as we can. I think my team just got melded though. I, I didn't expect us to do so well. Not without like any sort of teammate support. We 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 rolled it, we roll. There's not enough time to get this. Our teammates all died because they just went into this one area the enemy has to watch. You could kill a hundred tanks coming through here if there's just two of you. And he was killed by a Panzer 3M from the left hand side. That's a problem also. Is he up on the hill? Am I getting bombed too? That's my whole turret crew. And that's bombs. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, that'll do it. Our, our team melted.
we had, we had one guy that actually got five kills and then what wait what oh no yeah this is bad anyway oh, back to Iron. so i've changed my mind about the kv2 i think when you're going into a position in war thunder where you're just playing for fun and you fully expect to be killed whenever you're reloading for 30 odd seconds well when an ace crew that is you're next to 45 or 48 seconds with a with a baby crew but yeah this is a fun derpy vehicle like the stoom panzer like the broom bear like the swedish trumpet cannon and all those derpy boys that we really enjoy playing i think when i first played the kv2 i was grinding through the russian tech tree and we all know that grinding is suffering and it's just better to play war thunder and just enjoy it for what it is now if you enjoyed this video please remember to hit the like button every time you hit the like button it appears in more people's feeds this video specifically and uh, more people will get to discover my channel and it really helps me out so i would appreciate it if you do that i'm putting out a video still every single day in may and it's now the 17th so if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button if you're new here and you'll get to see some more content through the month hopefully I'm going to continue this through June and July, fingers crossed, we'll see, I might take a wee break or so, we'll see, but yeah, uh, join me on this wee journey. As usual, I would like to thank all my patrons and Discord members and Twitch, uh, well, Twitch subscribers for uh, supporting me financially, thank you guys very much. Uh, to all the tier 3s over on Patreon, they get a shout out, that's Sickness One, Bilka the Tactical Broccoli, Matthew S, Eric Fear, Bjorn Hansen, Jesse Mills the Tackle Guy, Toast McGee and the Stormwind. Archangel Ari, Brahma Nation, Brian Austin, Sexy, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Gifted Greed, Handsome Tortilla, Kin the Salt Lord, Kino Subasa, Kyle Metany, Ralph, Rige, Tectonic, The Fire Piper, The Reformation, Trash Panda, TV2000 Atomic, Varian Warping, Shaft, Mortanen, Stoyan, J Tormey, Mr. Buzzwell, Shmoo, and Stuart Netherton, and to those over on Discord as well. That's Calvino, Destare, Gifted Greed, Marushin, Millie Mills, Stoyan, and The Reformation. Again, some boy. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. <laughs> much love and bye-bye.